<laughs> okay. Oh, take action. Okay. It's crying. Wait. What is it doing? It's putting the counters on the scurry oak infinitely! <laughs> I can't stop this! If I say that I have one of the most easy to assemble combos, infinite combos in historic, I guess your question is gonna be... What's the drawback? Well, the drawback is you don't win on the turn you go off! And that sometimes makes the miserable <laughs> experience. So you're gonna make- I'm gonna make you suffer with me. If you get to the last game, we're gonna suffer together. What, what am I talking about? I'm talking about a genius new combo, of course, which can do with Scurry Oak. It has evolved, which does bad at all, actually, for the combo. Whenever one or more plus counters are put on Scurry Oak, you may create a green squirrel creature token. Which means that if you have some effect which puts counters on something, that's just Heliod, Suncrown, or Cleric Class, and you have something which gains life whenever something enters a battlefield so that these guys trigger again, you have an infinite loop. I will say though that if you play this combo, play it in paper instead, that's just one billion times better because if you have to click through every trigger, uh, th that's a lot of clicking. <laughs> so really a lot of clicking. But this combo is super easy to assemble, very very easy. The thing is, all the combo pieces, there are multiples of already. So we need some way of getting life on something on this battlefield. There's a Yannis Welcome for that, there's Impassion the Raider, there's Daxos, there's Prosperous Innkeeper. There's even more cards that I didn't put in the deck because I wanted some board wipes also. In case we don't have the combo in the opening hand. Uh, also, we you know we need some way of putting plus counters on whenever we gain life, such as from Helion or Cleric Loss, and we can just neoform to find whatever combo piece we happen to not have. Body get recover, of course, they return whatever combo piece they killed. And uh, yeah, stay to the last game and uh, and enjoy. So I heard Chris that you like tap lands. That's why I give you tap lands with your tap lands, so you can uh, keep everything tapped. Okay. Keep it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I hate these cards when this happens. No! We do all of them! Why couldn't one of these, you know, be a normal thing? That would be amazing. Uh, okay, our opponent is slow. That's weird. That rarely ever happens. <laughs> Mythic, but we'll see. We'll see what this guy's about. He just woke up if you want. Why is my voice sounding like I've cried for a year or something? <laughs> It sounds so weird. That is because I just woke up. <laughs> I sound like this in the morning. It's horrible. Uh, okay, prosperous innkeeper. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we put this down. Yearly hood. Okay, can't attack or block unless you control another creature with power 4 or great. I'm just gonna guess here. That is gonna get a power. A creature with power 4 or great. Yeah, we, we're not gonna block there. Just gonna take it. You're just gonna take it. And there we have the Neoform. Can we now win? Uh, I think we should be able to do it, right? If I play this correctly. Let's see. I need to play the Neoform first. That's what I need to do. And then we need to take away the... Pro no, but if we take away the Prosperous Innkeeper, we're not gaining any life. Frack. <laughs> Frack, how do we win? Can we? Yeah, I mean, surely we can. We put down this. Then we Neoform, but if we do that... We're not getting... Now we're gaining life from the Ajarnis... Uh, the Ajarnis thing. We're gaining life from the Ajarnis thing, so it's not, it's not a problem. I'm sorry, opponent. I'm very, very slow. <laughs> I literally just woke up. Okay. Heliod. Noise. This bad boy. Noise. I fo forgot we had Ajarnis present there. Yes. Yes, very much so. Unfortunately, you have to click yes on these. I would love for it to be the case that you cannot... Oh, well, actually, you have to be able to <laughs> click no for this. Else it will create an infinite... an actual infinite loop. Uh, and that's actually gonna be annoying. Because <laughs> then you can't win with this. Oh, no, 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 you can. You can just put a count on the, one of the squirrels. So it would actually be better if you always get the squirrel. And then you have to have a combo where you can stop their own, your own loop. Uh, that is better. That's a lot of squares though, by the way. <laughs> That's what we're getting it. <laughs> it's a lot of, lot of freaking squares. Okay. Scurry Oak is getting big. Man, if he now has a red and he just takes over my Scurry Oak or something. But it doesn't have trample though. 
I would love for this to have travel. It would be so nice if that travel. It just really doesn't have travel. We'll keep going until we time out with this, by the way. <laughs> That's gonna be our plan. Probably our opponent's gonna concede before that. Uh, or until we have enough squirrels. If we have like 40 squirrels, I don't think he's gonna get 40 blockers in his next turn. So 40 squirrels, I think, is gonna be enough uh, to kill him. So we're gonna go 40. We're gonna go 40. Darius, getting all the squirrels. All of the squirrels. All of the time we get the squirrels. All the freaking squirrels belong to us! Watch out! <laughs> After not misclick on them. I mean, I think still that we got him with what we have here. But just to be safe, everybody. Just to be freaking. Oh, did I click no on something? No, I, I was afraid they're like the stacks were going away or something. The stacks of resolve triggers were going away. It feels like we have to. Did we have to resolve this before? Uh, you gain one life, no? Okay. Feels like you have to resolve that also now. Why do we have to resolve the Adonis Welcome now? Is it because we've recurred this so many times? To stop infinite loops? No, but it wouldn't stop because we can't click no. I don't know. I don't know why we have to... Have to do this now, okay? Yep, resolve! 32, we're going at the 40. We're going at the 40. If it stays in the 40, that's great. That's absolutely great. Not if it has some kind of way of getting out of this, though. Yeah, okay, we should go to 50. No, we go to 40. 40 is almost a guarantee, then. 40, yes. Go there, take action. Uh, resolve. Badoosh! Badoosh, badoosh. Badish. Badoosh. Badoosh! Badoosh! Okay, 37 is enough. I I'm kind of getting tired of <laughs> clicking this. Okay. Yep. And, and the turn. We can continue this loop next time if you want to. As long as it doesn't kill the scurry oak. Should be fine. And we have a lot of squares now. A lot of them. A freaking lot of them. And we're at 51. So I think we're doing good. We can also gift this a little bit of lifelink. To get even more life when we attack him. These both have death touch, so. So that's something, okay? It's gonna kill one of the squirrels. This squirrel? Helion? Helion the cat kill. Luckily enough. Blizzard Brawl! <gasps> no! My scurry out! Oh no! Well, we can return with ball again though, so it's not the biggest of problems, but. You know, it's something. Okay. Gonna smack in. Tap out, that'd be great. That'd be freaking great. Okay. I'm a big dude. And then he smacks in. All his might. Smacked in. Questing beast. Ronas! Fucking Ronas. Man, I'm tired of the Ronas. <laughs> Can't it just end? Can't it just end, I say? Is this what the Ronas is? Maybe it is. Maybe it's just a snake. A snake god or something. An Egyptian snake god. You just haven't found it. Someone finds this statue, raise it, raise it immediately. Okay, we're not gonna play David on him. We're gonna smackly smackly do happily happily boo. Bada 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 boosh. We have the entire combo in handily rouge. Can we get it out before we die? Really snoosh. We'll find out. We'll find out. We just haste out everything. Boom, boom. Get it down. Actually, we should have played this turn two. But on the other hand, we can we can maybe draw in something that won't play that. Day. It's a possibility. I mean, we didn't, but we could have. Uh, okay. What is that? Untapped. Then Heliod. Then Scoriok. And then we win. If we survive to that point, I guess. Uh, it's also a big, a big if. Versus. Oh, I don't think he can win next time. I don't think he can win next time. He could, uh, could do something cute next time, but I don't think he can win. And I also don't think he can kill my Helio there. So I think we're in good shape on there. That's just no damage. That's just no freaking damage. No, sir. Uh, I think we do both of these before we play the Scurry Oak. I think that's just the way. Get down this. Scurry Oak! Oh, because I'm gonna get twice as much life for this. 
It's also gonna trigger this twice as much, I guess. Uh, which might be annoying, but ah, whatever. Whatever. And we're also gonna get a lot of big squirrels from this. And he might have a spell which deals like one damage or something to a lot of things. He might have that, so. I think we're gonna be a big at him. Big at him. Good at him. Man. <laughs> mornings. I know I shouldn't be recording these in the mornings. But I have some things I need to do this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be a great idea to do it just as I wake up. <laughs> okay. It's going pretty great though. <laughs> like half of my consciousness is still in the sleep, the dream world. And it's, for some reason, I don't know, playing Super Mario or something. It's like... And half of it is here, playing Magic. <laughs> my entire consciousness is always playing games, it's just different games. On different levels of consciousness. That's just what's going on. Okay, scary oak. Uh, yep. Uh, we're gonna get uh, a couple of these. Because he can get a lot of goblins. Like, possibly next turn he could get a lot of goblins. So we probably want like 40 or so squares. He's probably gonna concede before we get those 40 squares. But you know. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. We gotta get them out 40 squares. And then we're gonna buff them all up to 2-2s two or something. Or 3-3s. Three I don't know. I gotta be big anyways. I gotta be big anyways. Up to 30. Got a couple of squirrels. Nice. It would be so nice if Scurry Oak uh, only cost 2 mana. Because then you could play the entire combo by turn. No, you can. Uh, no, that wouldn't work. Because you need Hellion before. <sighs> I, I would blame this on my morning brain. But the thing is, even if I would be a peak performance. <laughs> my peak perform- That's gonna go ahead and say, my peak performance is not like these top athletes in the world. That, that's not where I'm at when I'm at my peak performance. My peak performance just barely, barely scraping by in the world. It's just, oh, just slightly, slightly over what's needed. <laughs> you need like, I don't know, 10 IQ or something to open a door, I have like 11 or something. I just, ah, oh, I have like a slight little advantage on that door. But it's not much. It's not much. It takes very little to tip me over. <laughs> to the wrong side of things. <laughs> okay. That's one loss of IQ. Out of playing like a dingus or something. Can't open the door. Can't get out of my room. <laughs> Common problem for me. Okay. Uh, we're gonna resolve this. We're gonna put on the counter there. We're gonna put on that counter. Take action. Yep. Uh, is this enough? I think this is enough. I mean, he could potentially win from this position. But if he wins from this position, that's what I'm gonna say about that. If he wins from this position, I think it's worth, it's, like, the win. We're just gonna gift that win to him, if that's the case. Uh, if he can win from this position, we give the win to him. Yep. 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 Do we want 3-3 three, three squirrels? Because there's a couple of cards which do like 2 damage. Might be a good idea, I don't know. Get a couple of 3-3 three, three squirrels. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. And uh, we are... We are putting those counters on those squirrels there. That is happening. God. <laughs> we bored him to death. <laughs> the plants! The plants! <coughs> I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Mornings, am I right? <laughs> am I right? I am right. You all know this. Mornings. That's all I need to say. Everybody can relate, I think. Self and Savior, okay? That's a fine, my, my sir. Put down this. Hopefully, find a third line. Else, I'm gonna be a little bit sadly sad. Actually. No matter, so. Selfless Savior, Luminarch Aspirin, not an Aspirin, I know, that would be nice, nice. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have, I have, actually have a little bit of a headache, like just, just enough for me uh, to be a little bit annoyed by it maybe. Uh, I think we keep that thing, I mean, we're probably just gonna play a board line, right? I mean, we're probably just gonna do that. He's gonna make the Aspirin survive probably with the Selfless Savior or something. That's the problem, that's gonna be. Okay, three manas. Get a black blade! Let me <laughs> take the charge into darkness. I'm gonna be charge into darkness. Okay, 
give that guy indestructible. He's doubly in now he's life like okay. Oh my god, oh no life. Eh? Okay. Can we now get the board wipe? We can get the board wipe. Unfortunately, all it kills is the aspirin. All it kills is the aspirin. So maybe you say we play Heliod. Um But on the other hand, this is gonna come in, but we can't board wipe that. Ah, we have two board wipes, whatever. <laughs> play one. Play one, see what happens. This guy just hates board wipes, I think. As everything. Oh my god, he wants to save the aspirin? Not if really? I can help it. Really? Is that so important too? Really? Like, like really? Is that really that important? Does she fuck me? <coughs> Robert Rich. Just, just dudes. Just playing as dudes. Dudes which are unfortunately good against board wipes also. <laughs> I don't like that. Ah, uh, the four. Ah, uh, the four. Uh, uh, okay, so if you play this. We lose because <laughs> he attacks him with this. Uh, if we play Hel if we play Impassion the Raider, then Heliod. Uh, we gain three life from that, and Heliod becomes a creature. And if we can't kill that creature, I don't know. It's a possibility, right? It, it is a. Oh wait, it isn't a creature. You need how much do you need? Uh, five. I'm sorry, brains. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brains, I'm just not at 100% uh, operation right now. <laughs> oh god, I think we would have lost anyways. No box. We'll take it. We'll take the damage. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, oh, almost a combo in hand there. Almost. I'll keep this. It's close. It's close having a combo. Um, need that little uh, thing with gains of life, also. We have a lot of those in the deck, but. I don't know if the deck knows that. Sometimes it feels like I tell the deck, we have so many of this card, why can't we draw it? And it just doesn't draw it. Sometimes. Sometimes I also tell my deck, I've drawn seven lands in a row now. That is statistically improbable. And the deck says, I don't care about statistics. I'm gonna give you all your lands. It's gonna be zero lands in the bottom 30 cards. They were all in the top 30. All of them. Sometimes my deck says that. Like, try a little bit. Okay. Blossoming Sands. Uh, okay, this doesn't gain us life for help in any way, but uh, we'll put it down. <laughs> put it down. Blowing. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I'm a dingus. Uh, uh, for some reason, I was. Yeah, yeah, this is perfect. This is what we needed. What am I talking about? What am I even talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is like the perfect card we needed. We just level up this thing. Level it up. And we're good in the hood, I think. In Battle Burner. Luris. Luris Maluris. Okay, that's on that the, the speaker of the heavens. That's a little bit of a slow play though. That's good. And on 16. Uh, sure. Do we... Oh, now that we have two Scary Oaks, we just play one, right? We just play one. Man, my voice also! <laughs> it is so freaking amazing, I have to say. It sounds so good. Okay. Scary Oak. Gain two life points. Two life points. Yeah. Up to 18. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. Noise, 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 noise. Noise, noise, noise. Okay. Fable Passage. I really like that he had a really slow play there in the beginning. Sometimes when your opponent goes like uh, Lawn of Elves, and then they have some kind of tricksy combo deck or something. <laughs> I mean, I love the tricksy combo decks. Uh, but I just feel dead. <laughs> Honestly. I just feel so dead. Um, okay, I guess we'll no box it. We are gonna have to like, create a lot of squares versus this guy though. That is big true. Big true, I say. Uh, okay. And we gain life. The plus counter on the creature we control. We have the combo now. Fortunately, we can't go off this turn. It would have been amazing to go off this turn. It would have been so amazing, but we can't do it, so no attacks. We can actually return the Scurry Oak from our graveyard though. With the Cleric class, unless it kills the Cleric class, in which case we are kind of done in this town. It's gonna have it. I mean, sometimes these decks have it, but sometimes they don't, honestly. Sometimes they just don't have it. It's gonna get one angel, but we can get past one angel. Unfortunately, it's gonna be at such a high life total that uh, 
Du, du är med i block. Nah, 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 nah. I was thinking like we can return it with this anyways. Is what I was thinking, okay. I like the combat in mid air here, okay. Mid air. Okay. Sarah's ascendant. I mean, it's gonna get a lot of life points. Kind of makes sense, okay. Man, we're gonna have to get so many squirrels to kill. <laughs> That's the annoying part about it. We're gonna have to be a squirrel, uh, squirrel mania. That's what we're gonna have to be, okay. Uh, nah, these guys are. These guys are pretty big. Uh, that 12. We're gonna need a absolute shy ton of squirrels. Probably as many as we can get. <laughs> okay. It's an angel, sure. It's a more level. Man, it's annoying. <laughs> we need to get like 100 squirrels. It would be so much better to play this in paper, honestly. So much better for us. Okay, uh, we played this before we played the scary Oh my god, is this gonna come in play on that though? Yes, it does. Uh, good. Oh, well, this is actually going to set off the infinite combo when I think about it, but uh, yeah, sure. Let's put down Prosperous Inkeep. Oh, oh, actually, he is also going to get an infinite combo out of this. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> At least this doesn't have lifelink, so. Yeah. Uh, he's also gaining <laughs> infinite amount of life through this. No! No! <laughs> this. How many squirrels do we have to create then? For every squirrel he gains a life. That's not good. Oh no. I mean, we can bore him to death. We can surely bore him to death. That's our weapon of choice. <laughs> how long can he do this for? That's the question. He can do this for a long time. He can do this for a freaking long time, I say. Freaking long time, yep. Yep. Uh, man. Maybe we need a John in this deck or something. Clear his board. That'd be a cool card out. But we're not gonna gain that much life in most cases. Like, before we go off. I and mean, we'll go off we win anyways, in most cases. Except if your opponent has this setup. <laughs> Frack, if you didn't have Soul Ward, it would have been fine. <laughs> it's the Soul Ward and the screw is over. Yep. Scurry Oak. Yep. That'll take a while. That'll take a little bit of time. Maybe it'll time out. But, uh... Okay, put a last counter on that and Scry. The unfortunate part is if he has a yawn in the deck though, it's just got X on our entire board. That is, uh, uh, okay, one top zero bottom though. I mean, he's probably already described to the yawn if he, if he has that in his deck. If he has that in his deck. Okay. Still top one bottom, no, he's just randomly sometimes top, sometimes bottom. <laughs> he just doesn't want to time out, I think. Oh, he doesn't want to time out! Huh? Ah! <laughs> it's annoying with those cry triggers, really? Huh? <laughs> but if I can mess with him at this point. Man, that soul warden, no! That freaking soul warden, it's ruining us. Okay. Uh, oh well, we're gonna have a lot of squirrels. But we need a lot of them. We need like hundreds and hundreds of squirrels to win this. We can like block his dudes. And uh, we can attack into him also. Do something. We're gonna keep going uh, be, like until we get to the very last bit of uh, uh, whatever this is. Timing out thing. It's how long I think we'll keep going. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yep. And the next time we'll do the same thing again. Man, hopefully he kills his own soul warden, realizing how annoying it is. <laughs> I mean, this is more annoying for Doom, though, honestly. I have to scry every turn. It's annoying. It makes him time out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Nah, he's timing out there. He's timing out. <laughs> okay. Scary Oak. Man, we maybe should have like something we could scry into, which is like a damage or whatever, something and there is oh but that wouldn't have been got enough though. Unfortunately, it wouldn't have been enough. Would have been a lot, but it wouldn't have been enough. 
Uh, if we could have a card we could fling, that wouldn't have been enough either. We just need to get rid of this freaking soul one. Um, I mean, we can board wipe. That's one way of getting rid of it. But then we need to reset the combo. But that's fine, though. we have a scurry oak, so. Maybe just gain enough life uh, to where um, we won't die next turn. And then we try to find a board wipe. Um, and that's about that's about it. I was thinking, have you played a board wipe? No, I'm so uh, I'm so mourning you right now that I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, scary oak. I mean, he's getting the the thing, so <clears throat> yep. And he's crying. Gotta time him out. <laughs> they gotta we gotta make him regret that cry. That's what we gotta do. That's our only way of winning, I think. Now actually we can win. You just need to find a board wipe next time and play Scurry Oak. <laughs> That's all we need to do. Or possibly, if we get enough squirrels, like if we could get to like 60 or 70 squirrels, like we could attack him down in like two or three turns. Even through his life gain that he gets from these things. Maybe we could do that, I don't know. Gotta have a lot of life though. <laughs> We have all, but we also have a lot of squirrels. The only thing you can really attack with is like this thing. I mean, the other things don't matter if you attack him with them. Yep. 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 Could we turn Prosperous Innkeeper into. That's what I'm thinking. Could we turn Prosperous Innkeeper into a. Um, um, what's his face? I was, it won't matter. I was thinking if we turn it into a uh, the god thing, which puts plus counters on something, then we get two plus counters. But that doesn't actually matter. It's actually better the way we have it set up now. But now we can put a lot of plus counters on all these squirrels, also. which means that we can um, we do something. I think we we'll do something with that. Okay, he's gonna have to scry a lot. Okay, result, man top. Okay, I'm really afraid he's gonna have a Johnny on topper and just stream us. <laughs> Because this Terralasa is very dangerous at this point. Very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Uh, we could, though, he mutate the Prosperous Innkeeper. Let's see if we think about things here. He mutate the Prosperous Innkeeper. Um, what can we do with that? Um, nothing. I mean, we can put a lot of plus counters on the Scurry Oak now. We have a couple more plus counters coming in there. Um, so we could put a lot on the Scurry Oak. Threaten lethal with the Scurry Oak. Get rid of one of his dudes here, but that won't do much, honestly. Um, that won't do much. Okay. Take that action. Getting some life. Uh... Maybe I will speed up this part, because I think it might not be that fun <laughs> to watch. And I don't want to lose here! I don't want to lose because I didn't gain enough squirrels. That's, and also I wanted to time out from this, maybe. So we can't block my scurry oak! <laughs> That's actually a real possibility that it times out there. That's a real possibility that it times out. And then we can't stop acting with the scurry oak. Is that a scumbag move? Is that a scumbag move to use his own treble ass against him? Oh, now we are timing out. No! No, 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 no. He needs time out first. <laughs> he needs. We need to be faster with this. Okay. Resolve all. Yep, take action. Uh, yep. He's also timing out. Who's gonna time out first? Who's gonna time out first? He can keep going. <laughs> he can keep going, right? Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Okay, we're getting a couple of counters here. Couple of things. I think we are timing out faster than he is, though. Timeout used. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Maybe our plan's not gonna work out. Maybe we need to put this on the squirrels. Or maybe it's gonna time out. Man, can we time out? That would be so good, because then we win, because then we're gonna put all the counters on Scurry Oak, and then we can attack him. <laughs> I'll win. Oh, I don't think he's gonna. Where is he? Okay. 
I should have kicked resolve all a little bit earlier. We need to be really fast with these counters. Okay. Okay, it's about to time out. Yep. Like action. <laughs> Your turn, scribe. <laughs> okay. Yep, take action. Okay, it's crying. Wait. What is it doing? It's putting the counters on the scurry oak infinitely. <laughs> I can't stop this. I'm timing out, but I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> and he is not even getting scry triggers anymore. No, okay, it's not creating squirrels anymore. It's just adding a lot of scurry old things. But we can't attack in now, I think. But we are gaining the life. Okay. Oh, so this is kind of some way of the game for the game to prevent uh, you going. Uh, you're going infinite or something. And he's about to time out to our almost infinite triggers. Okay. Yep. Okay. Can we attack in with this now? That would be great. No. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, sure. We'll pass. <laughs> so his attack. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Speaker of the heavens? Are you sure? Are you sure though? Okay, there's another angel. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna solve all there. Put a couple of counters on that uh, Trulasa. I see, I see. Uh, sure. I would love to get another 170 life from this. He didn't have a Johnny <laughs> because he didn't put that on top. Okay. And my turn. So, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna search for uh, the guy which can give everything lifelink. Yes. Because I don't think he can kill us now. And we have a lot of squirrels. <laughs> we have a lot of squirrels. We're actually threatening him with these squirrels. Okay, Helio. Nice. And then we go in with our army here. Our army of lovers. And we go into blockers. And he has a couple of uh, things he needs to block here. Settle the wreckage. Really? <laughs> really, we need to do this again? We need to do this again? And we can take action. I don't think we have any basics. Yeah, decline. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we... I guess we do it all again then. <laughs> Frack! No! <laughs> okay. No! You search for Soul Warden! Search for Soul Warden, okay? Uh, all attack. Hold back with this. 77. He's gonna settle the wreckage. We're gonna Wrath of God. <laughs> <laughs> or did he not search for another settle? I mean, surely has another settle. Sure, resolve. It's a big settle, everybody. It's a big one. Decline. Uh, next, go into our this phase. Wrath of God. There is board. Okay, resolve all. Scurry Oak. <laughs> and we get going again. Okay. 
And I'll say it. Oh, he's out of cards! Are you kidding me? We did it! He's out of settles! One hour in! One freaking hour into this game, and he's finally out of stops. I'm just gonna put this down before I attack him. Badoosh! We go in. No settles to protect you anymore, buddy. No freaking settles. Is this enough to kill him, though? I had a 60 damage. Gone. We finally got him. Oh my god, this took a long time. One hour, two minutes. But we got him. We got him, everybody. <laughs> Golf clap. <laughs> <laughs> that? Oh, it's just hippie Chris again. Man! I look younger with a hat on. It looks like I actually have hair. <laughs> thank you everybody so much for watching. And a special thank you, of course, to the latest member who have joined there, which is Damiano Polenta. And also, welcome back to Kyle Wedgwood and Steve Earth. Thank you, everybody. And see you soon. And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And um, well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take those views. No, the, those are my views. Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs zero percent and non-subs a hundred percent. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little. That thing down there.